Today we'll be working with image capture, scrolling web pages, and cutting out layouts. I'm starting here with the web page I want to use as an example layout and capture it using scrolling web capture. I have it ready, so when I hit image capture, this is what we'll get. Now I'm going to switch to image capture, and I want to make sure that my image mode is chosen. So I go to the capture mode button, and I engage image capture, and it looks like it's already been selected, so we're good to go. I'm going to engage the capture button, and when I do this, we shift to the web page that I wanted to take a picture of, and here is the capture button for capturing the vertical scrolling area. So I can just capture the vertical scrolling area, I can capture both the vertical and horizontal, the entire web page, or I can just capture the horizontal area. I'd like to capture both, so I'm going to hit this button and let Snagit do its thing. So now we're open in the editor screen in Snagit, and you can see we have captured the horizontal area of the entire web page, and we've captured the whole vertical area as well all the way to the bottom of the page. It's quite a bit much. I'd like to cut some of this out in order to reduce the layout and communicate with one of my team members that um, we'd want the page shorter. So we'll go to prepare and develop and we'll cut this area out. The way to do this is to go to the image tab and go to cutouts. There are several options here. I usually like to use the clean cutout that just has clean seamless lines, but for this one I'm going to use something more jagged so you get an idea of what it looks like when the pieces are cut out. So exactly what I want to cut out, I select with the selection tool and when I let go of the mouse, and you can see where I've cut it out because there's a jagged edge. So when I'm communicating with my team, they know I've cut something out there. A way that I can further communicate with my team is to add a call out. And I can do that by going to the Drawing tab. And there's many different options for you to select an area, create a caption box, create stamps. And once you engage one of these options, you can open up your editor a bit and there's extra callouts here. There's styles. Choose one of those and it's obvious that we cut something out. I can also leave a note and choose what style of note I'd like to leave and then type inside of it. So it's as simple as that to take a picture of a scrolling web page, cut it out to rearrange the layout, and add callouts to give comments to your teammates. I hope this helps and you have fun using Snagit.